so bitter though, because I, you know, it's so crazy to me that kids come out so young. Like I came out when I was 18. I'm acting like I'm Methuselah, but you know, it's like. I saw this kid, he's like seven years old, purple hair, talking in front of the human rights campaign. He's like, when I came out of the closet, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm happy for these kids, but I'm also so bitter that part of me wants to grab them and be like, you go home and turn off the lights and listen to Madonna and cry like the rest of us, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't even imagine. When I was seven years old, are you out of your mind? Like, I, was, I couldn't even keep my Tamagotchi alive. And I'm still bitter about it, but <laughs> it just makes me mad because, you know, every, when is Pride here? August, right? Is it <laughs> one gay? Yes! Um, I, Pride to me is fine, but it's also like, you know, I get mad about the posters, right? Every poster is always like a steroid guy on a float with a drag queen, a boa, confetti, beer, and it's like, that's fine, but can we also have a poster right next to it of two middle-aged lesbians paying their mortgage on time? <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? It's just so ridiculous, you know? Because, you know, it's like, in my family, like, I, I'm gay, but my older brother's also gay. <laughs> so my dad is real proud. And, <laughs> and my dad was in Vietnam. I feel like his two gay sons is just his second Vietnam. Like, <laughs> he doesn't get PTSD <laughs> from that. It's from us, just wakes up in the middle of the night, like, there's another one! But. I know, I hate documentaries, but I watch this one documentary, and documentaries, let me just say this, you learn absolutely nothing, right? They do everything to fool you. It's like two minutes of information that they just stretch for a full hour. Like, I watched one, it was called The Ancient Pyramids. I'm like, yeah, got it. I'm not like mistaking it for like a modern day pyramid. I'm not, I'm not like, oh, which one, in Seattle? Like, I know. And they do everything to trick you, right? So number one, they get the British narrator, so Americans are like, ooh, learning, and then, I know. We're... That's all it takes. <laughs> and all they do, like the British narrator asks like a bunch of really long, drawn out questions about the pyramids. Then they just show the pyramids from every possible angle while just playing some generic bullshit Arabic music in the background. So the entire thing is just, did the Egyptians know more than we think they did? Did they? <laughs> Five minutes later, I'm just Googling. I'm like, no, they didn't. Aliens did it. Well, I'm wasting all my time. <laughs> all right, I love everyone here. Merci beaucoup. Bonne nuit. Ciao.